to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, and let's get right into it. What's up, you two? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Um, but before I get into the video, I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to hit that like button. It helps my video go a long way. More people get to see it, and maybe I'll get a few more subscribers. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Show a brother some love. I really need some love. You know what I'm saying? The year's ending. I only got 385 subscribers. I didn't make my goal, but show a brother some love. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to like and leave a comment. Because this video right here, yeah. I don't know. I'm not trying to say I'm no no Shadamus or anything, but I predicted the New York Knicks would draft Miles. Oh, Coco TV. I hope I said that right. Well, anyway, Miles Deuce McBride, point guard out of West Virginia, 6'2", 200 pounds, and I'm telling you right now, that's the Knicks' next point guard. I'm telling you right now, that's the Knicks' next point guard. Put away all. All your pens, your paper, don't don't go check about. No other point guard. That's gonna be the New York. Matter of fact, I predicted the New York Knicks would draft Quentin Grimes. But that's for a different video. We're gonna stay right here with my boy Miles McBride, the next future Knicks point starting point guard. Let me get that correct. Starting point guard. Matter of fact, all-star. Matter of fact. Superstar point guard. You heard what I said. Read my lips. Superstar point guard. And like I said, I predicted it. But let's get into this video. Let's get hardcore. Um, Thursday night was the night that everybody got to see what McBride can do. And it's kind of put pressure on Tom Thibodeau. And the sad thing, goddamn sad thing. Oh man. My man McBride come down with COVID-19. He got to go through the protocol. Just when it looked like he's about to get into action and get his career going. I mean, man, man, oh man. You know what I'm saying? What can you say? Like, in that game, Dirk, Dirk Rose started that game. I know I just jumped from off him, but it is a little saddening. But the thing that I'm looking forward to is when he get back. He's going to have a lot to prove. And Tom Thibodeau, gonna have to, he's going to have to play these guys. Matter of fact, these rookies are pushing our veterans. So Tom Thibodeau gonna have to make some real decisions once these protocols is up off of COVID-19. Goddamn COVID-19 is spreading like wildfire. I hope the NBA don't get shut down again. But I digress and let's get back to this video. Derrick Rose suffered uh, an ankle injury in the first half of the last game and Miles McBride got a chance to shine. I mean, before Rose went to the bench, it wasn't like he was doing anything. He was shooting 0 for 2. Uh, he had one rebound, one assist, and that was in 12 minutes prior to him going leaving the game in the second half. And I thought to myself, when the second half came, I said, you know, Tibbs might bring in Kimber Walker. You know what I'm saying? I heard, um, I forgot her name, Rebecca. She was talking about how Derrick Rose was hurt and he might not return. So I said, oh, excuse me. I said, oh, Kimber Walker might get in the game. Might get in the game. I'm I, In my mind, I was saying that punk-ass Tibbs ought to put in McBride. But I was thinking, you know, he probably wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? So I was getting mad. Actually, I would if he didn't put McBride in, I think I would have to do that to the man. But he put McBride in, and the rest was history. The rest was history. I mean, a star is born. Like I said, a star is born. Um, and I'm not going to try to underplay um, Emmanuel quickly game that night because Emmanuel quickly did have a game a good game matter of fact he let all scores in that game but I'm telling you but I owe it to Miles McBride I'm being honest like I kept saying to you we need a point guard quickly is not a point guard quickly is a shooting guard and quickly excel with my Miles McBride being the point guard I mean Miles McBride was looking for plays he was setting players up I mean he was doing his thing. Quickly was the highest player to score on the team. But like I said, McBride was the reason. Quickly had 24 points, four rebounds, four assists. He shot seven for 13 from the field. Also knocking seven for 10 down from the free from three-point line. He had three for four free throws. And one block, one steal, and four turnovers. That's why I say quickly can't be our our point, our starting point guard. He can come in and back us up a spell. But he don't make good decisions. He had four turnovers. Four turnovers. Uh, 
four assists. I mean, that's that's, that's not a that's not nothing to brag. I mean, to look down on four assists is good. But my boy quickly, my boy, my excuse me, <laughs> my boy McBride. Woo! Woo, McBride had a good game. I mean, he didn't score no 30, 40 points, but he had a good game. I'm being honest with you. McBride finished the game with a hefty stat line. That's all I can say. He had uh, 15 points, three rebounds, nine assists. He shot six from 11 from the field, four from five from downtown. He had one one free throw. He had one free throw line. He only got to the free throw line once. But the man had four steals and no turnovers in 36 minutes. In 36 minutes, the man had no turnovers. And that's what I want for my point. I know I don't care if you Chris Paul, John Stockton, any one of them great point guards you can name, you're going, they're going to have a turnover a game or two. And I expect quickly to have a turnover too. I mean, not quickly. I don't know why I'm bouncing back to quickly, but McBride to have a turnover. But what that showed you that the man came in and he played under control. Even though with all that pressure on his shoulders, you know how Tibbs like to run his rotation. And even though he was short-handed, Tibbs is the type of dude, he's funny. He probably set him on the bench and played six plays. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he probably would have played six plays. Sorry, but I'm looking at something. Yeah, he probably would have played six plays. So, um, like I said, I predicted this kid would go far in the NBA. I'm glad the Knicks drafted him. Uh, as you, as you, if you have watched on um, my other videos, you would have heard me say that uh, Tibbs was an advocate for the New York Knicks management to go out and draft him. So I was, I was perplexed why Tibbs wasn't playing him when, you know, say, all right, play. We went, we had we, in eight games, we lost seven games, right? But that losing streak started once uh, Kimball Walker sat on the bench. That's why I'm trying to say we needed a point guard, and Julius Randle was not a point guard, and having Julius Randle bring the ball up. It's not a good idea. That's what was making you, Tibbs, making you look like a coach who didn't know what he was doing by having Julius Randle bring the ball up the court. Now, even when before, I, mean, I keep going back to quickly, before McBride got in the game in Rose, Burks, quickly, you name it, Kimber Walker, Julius Randle would demand the ball. And he, Julius Randle would basically come position himself. If, if the point guard bring the ball, he's going to go right there four or five feet because he want the ball. Usually turn into a turnover because he don't know anything about spacing. And the man right there can just easy reach out and get the ball. But my man McBride, Deuce McBride, was playing like a veteran. He wasn't intimidated by Julius Randle. He gave Julius Randle the ball when Julius Randle needed the ball. He was serving up assists all night. Like I said, nine assists. It could have been more, but some players missed shots. Yo, and did you see how Mitchell Robinson played? And that was all due to um, Miles McBride. The ball was moving. The, uh, he had penetration, defense, you name it. This kid is going to be a suit star. That's right. You heard what I said. A superstar. And I know a lot of y'all might say I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But like I said, I called it. I predicted it that the Knicks would draft this dude. And me watching, I was watching college tape. Like he, at first I said to myself, he remind me of Marcus Smart. But he, he's more, he have more, he's a better offensive player than Marcus Smart. His shots go down on a consistent basis. Um, I throw a video in there just for y'all can see um, and when he played in the um, summer league, how he was knocking him down. I think he scored 23 points in that game right there. So, like I'm going to say one more time, the Knicks found their future point guard in Miles Deuce McBride. I'm telling you right now. Now, I don't know if he should start. I'm going to be honest with you. We can let him, you know, let's see where he buy March. You know what I'm saying? When he come back from this protocol. I'm like, damn, the whole team. I'm saying I was going to put out my my um game preview for Boston and the Knicks, but I'm just going to do a post game video because I wanted to get this video out. And as I was preparing to get this video out, the the news dropped that McBride was going into COVID um protocol, and it 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 hit me. Oh, excuse me, it hit me. It hit me. It really did hit me. You know what I'm saying? It it really did hit me. But. I'm anxious. I can't wait to this man to get back. This man to get back into the game. We should have Obi Toppin back in the next two games or whatever. But um, damn, COVID nineteen. You know what I'm saying? I wish our leaders had did what they supposed to do when we first this 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 virus first came upon us. 
We wouldn't be missing out on so many games. We wouldn't be missing players. Man, I'm a Knicks fan. I'm mad. I'm going to go down here and somebody show me where COVID. I, I wish I could just see COVID because if I could see COVID. But um, let's get back to the video. Like I said, I said, um, the Knicks, I don't know. We playing Boston tonight. Boston was hot. They lost the other game against a Golden State Warriors. Um, you know what I'm saying? This video ain't about that, but it's about my man Miles Deuce McBride, our future superstar point guard. And I predicted it. I'm gonna say it again, pat myself on the back one more time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But with that being said, I want everybody out there to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.